Well, I'm just gonna be blunt. If you got this wrong, you are in some serious trouble for this math section, okay? Either you're not reading things clearly or you just don't know how to do basic algebra. We need to get C alone, right? So it doesn't matter if there's P's and K's and other things, right? The goal is get C alone. So we have to get rid of anything that's attached to the C. There's only one thing attached and it's the seven. And remember, because of germ dust, which is what I call the uh, order of operations, some of you learned it as PEMDAS or something else, but it's I call it germ dust, we need to do opposites, right? So everything has an opposite. Addition and subtraction, opposites. Multiplication and division, opposites. Exponents and radicals, opposites. The G stands for groupings, but we don't really have any groupings here. There's no parentheses, there's no radicals or anything like that. So what we need to do is just think, okay, what's attached to the C? Well, it's attached through subtraction, so we're gonna use addition, it's opposite, to get it out of there. And literally just cancels it out here, leaves us with C alone, and then the seven just gets tacked on at the end. So choice A is the answer. There's not really a lot of complexity to this. Um, you really need to know how to do this, but these are also questions that tend to lend themselves to arithmetize if you need to. I do not really recommend it here, but you could come up with a value for P and a value for K and then solve for C and see what happens, right? So you just keep it simple, right? You could just do uh, P is one, K is one, and then we'd have C minus seven is equal to 25 plus one. So C minus seven is 26. Notice we still need to add the seven, right? So C and then we add the seven to the other side, we get 33, but think about it this way, 33 minus seven, we could do that in our calculator and double check, did we do it right? Yeah, that gives me 26. So the benefit of arithmetizing is we can get values for everything. Now, what we, what we really do here? Well, we would just plug those same numbers in, 25 times P is one, so that's still 25 plus one plus seven. Well, 25 plus one is 26, 26 plus one is 33. So that would work. We would need to try everything else. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna work. I'm not gonna really waste your time with it, but we would need to try all the other choices plugging in those numbers because if we get two answers that give us 33, that give us the C value that we want, then yeah, we gotta try a new number and change the P or change the K or something and see what, you know, try to narrow it down from there. Uh, so that's why this is not a good qu arithmetized question is that's time consuming, but it's better than getting it wrong. So make sure that when you have these questions about putting things in terms of something else, you understand the rules of algebra. That's basically all these questions are testing.